Good day, viewers. You are welcome. How to find the value of k when we are given k equals square root of k raised to the power of square root of k? So here we write it as k equals. Let's take this square root of k as k raised to the power of 1 divided by 2. Then, since this one also raised to the power of this one, then we multiply this with the square root of k. And having this, we have k equals k raised to the power of 1. We multiply k, then we have it as root k divided by 2. And again, when we have something like this, the next thing we are going to do is we try to introduce natural logarithm to both sides. So, and by doing that, we have ln of k equals ln k to the power of square root of k divided by 2. And by rule of logarithm, it means that the power of this thing will take it back. And so that we have ln k equals the square root of k divided by 2 in brackets, then ln k. So here we take, either we take this one here or we take this one here, any of the two. So suppose I take this one here, we are going to have ln k then this comes with minus the root of k divided by 2 in bracket then ln k so when we take the whole of this here at this side remain 0 so next ln k is common when we factor it out we have ln k open bracket when we divide this one by ln k it remains 1 minus and when we divide this one by ln k as well, we have it as root k divided by 2. Everything equals 0. And here, we are going to let ln of k equals 0, or we let 1 minus root k divided by 2 equals 0 to get the value of k. So, for the first case, we have ln k equals 0. And the other part here, which is case 2, we let 1 minus root k divided by 2 equals 0. So I have this one here, ln k equals 0. To get the value of k, we introduce exponential to both sides as e to the power of ln k equals e to the power of 0 and this exponent and ln they are inverse to each other they cancel so that we have k equals an exponential of 0 is equals 1 and a is the first solution to this problem and also for this one 1 minus root k divided by 2 equals 0 so let's try to take this here and we have the square root of k divided by 2 equals 1. Then we cross multiply. By cross multiplying, we have root k equals 2 multiplied by 1. That gives us 2. And to get the value of k, we have to take the square of both sides. Just to cancel the square root. And here is 2 to the power of 2. And here we have this cancelled so that k equals 4. So here is the value of k as both of them are real number. So we have to verify if these two satisfy the given problem. So to check, we are going to consider when k equals 1, then we substitute it in this. k equals the root of k raised to the power of root k. At this equals 1, 
we have this as 1 equals, so square root of 1, that is 1. And 1 raised to the power of 1 also equals 1. That is, it's satisfied. And also, when k equals 4, we have this left-hand side to become the square root of 4 raised to the power of square root of 4. And with this one, square root of 4 here is give us 2. And the square root of 4 here also give us 2. That equals 4. It means that the left hand side of this equals to the uh, the right hand side equals to the left hand side as this value also equals k when we substitute it. And here is how to solve this problem. I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching. And if you are new here to this channel and you find this video interesting, please do it to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye bye.